we're gonna unbox this new AKG mic that is gonna make me sound even doper than the dope that I already sound like. It's beginning to look a lot like sepsis. Ooh, look at this. Oh, they don't pop. My kids are gonna hate this. When the BP's low. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. If you were a Nazi soldier right now, this is like the Ark of the Covenant being opened, like your face would just melt off. Now I'm not trying to be rude. Hey, CHF is killing you. Yesterday, something really interesting happened to the dog. I got a call from Tony Shea and he's like, presidential candidate and former Hopkins neurosurgeon, Ben Carson is gonna be touring Downtown Project and he wants to meet with you and interview you about turntable health. Uh, that's why I'm all up in your grill, trying to get you to a Lasix pill. I probably won't bring up the fact that I disagree that the world is 5,000 years old. You must be an HMO way you will not be paying the bill. I also won't talk about immigration, politics, 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 or politics. Woo-hoo, Pedro, give me that beep, beep. So I actually did get to sit down with Ben Carson and we talked about medicine and it was a very civil discussion. So hopefully they're gonna give me that footage and I can put it on the Z blog, but let's not hold our breaths because this is a presidential campaign we're talking about. Bounce, 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 bounce back. I asked him, you know, what was harder? doing a neurosurgery residency and, and being on call every two nights in the ICU or being on the campaign trail. And he was like, oh dude, it was medicine, man. Medicine was freaking hard and I didn't realize how hard it was until I stopped doing it. And I was like, oh my God. He got swelling on the left. He's flaccid on the right. The INR is 12, so they'll be paging all night. Is running for president easier than taking Q2 call in the ICU. That's all I'm saying. It's the hard doc's life, son. I'm out. And after the stroke, there's the aspiration. And after he chokes, there's the intubation. And round about four. Yeah, I don't know much about music gear, but I know this. You never rock the mic with the pantyhose. Do you hear them, Clarice? Do you hear the bleating of the lambs?